Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. Last week I showed you how to align your vise so it is in tram and square to the rest of your machine. But what if you have to align it at a certain angle? Well, that's what I want to show you today. It's a very similar technique, but with a couple extra little changes to it. So what I want to do is start out with a set of angled gauge blocks. We're going to pull out 30 degrees just because, well, why not? And we need a set of parallels. And we want to get some fairly tall parallels, and you're going to see why here in a minute. And what we're going to do is just put the angle block in our vise, and we're going to clamp it lightly. And we want, well, it's going to change, but right now I've got the large edge against the fixed vise because that is, in the film industry, what we'd call our hero position. This is what we want to base everything on, is this back jaw. So you can see that I've got this clamped in there. I also have it on parallels. If you also look at, if I didn't have it on parallels, if I twist it one way or the other, it's going to throw off the accuracy of my reading or what I'm trying to use as my hero tool. That doesn't sound right, but just go with it. Now, we need to get kind of a, a crude alignment. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at this edge and I'm going to line it up to the table here. And that gives me a nice little ballpark. Let's bring in the probe on the Michitoyo, and I'm using the same Michitoyo I did last time. So this one again is accurate to within a half a thousandth of an inch. So we're going to bring this over, and we're going to line this up. We'll just put it on 15 for right now, or approximately there. That's close enough, because remember, as we move this, we are not looking for a mark. We're looking for the needle to quit moving. Now, some of the things I want to show you is, you'll notice where I've got the probe started, because I really want to start from the right-hand side and move this and go left. And the reason I want to do that is I don't want to accidentally be moving this way and concentrating and having my probe end up hitting this vise and, of course, damaging it. So another nice trick is to not have all this stuff super tight, just firmed up. So if it does hit, we have a nice little bit of flexibility. So again, we're going to start out. Just let this move, and let's see what happens. Okay, let's go reverse. And on the reverse, I'm not going to be tapping it. I want to make sure I don't hit that probe and damage this really nice Mitsutoyo. So there we go. The vice is lined up. Wow, even better than I did before. We're within a couple tenths over two and a half, three inches. That is really great. So I hope you guys like this little tip and also the last one since they kind of build both on each other and how to tram up a vise and also how to set the vise at an angle. Now this technique can be applied to all sorts of other things if you think about it. And that's why I showed you this one is so now it kind of feeds you to think about, you know, I did one on the lathe exact same technique. What other machines need alignment that you can do this with? All right, you guys, give me thumbs up if you like these tips. Also, please leave me your great, fun, 
positive comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe. All right, until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.